Big Game Breakdown continues live on sportsbookreview.com. Saturday night, Pac-12 Network, 7 o'clock, 21-5 against 23-3 USC at UCLA. Projected line, UCLA 11, 169 the total. Last season, USC went 3-0 against them. And all three comfortable wins by 14, 19, and 24 here in Vegas in the Pac-12 tourney. Then this year, USC was catching seven at home. They won 84-76 to on January 25th. USC by 65 on the scoreboard, plus 16 points per game, and 72.5 ATS, Teddy, 18 points per game ATS. Yeah, and again, the, the, the projected number says USC will be a double digit underdog against a team that they have played four times over the last two years and dominated all four of those meetings essentially um so you wonder you know the Bruins you say this is a big chalk revenge favorite uh but <laughs> the swagger may not be there for the I'm sure the hunger's there for the UCLA side the swagger I'm not so sure about the first meeting this year UCLA's up eight nothing they're up 20 to 10 but they never got, you know, USC made their run. Uh, UCLA never got closer than four in the second half. And that was even without Benny Boatwright in the lineup for USC. Now, remember, UCLA, 48% shooting in that game versus 40 for the Trojans. But USC was draining them from downtown, 14-34 to 34 from beyond the arc. UCLA only hit six uh, three-pointers, and the Bruins had nine more turnovers. Lonzo Ball never got comfortable uh, against that Trojan defense. He turned the ball over seven times himself. And oh yeah, he got stopped at the rim more than once in that game as well. A lot of those turnovers ignited the USC offense, got him going as well. Offered, quote, we dug ourselves a big hole in the first half with a high number of turnovers. That's something you cannot afford on the road against a team like USC. They were able to get a lot of points in transition, and that was thanks to our turnover wo woes. Our turnovers led to a lot of three-point baskets from USC, end quote. Bruins have the size advantage, but they didn't use it. Leaf only had eight points and eight rebounds. He averages almost 17 and nine a game. UCLA 4 0 straight up since the first loss, but only 1 and 3 ATS, 2 and 4 ATS, laying double digit in Pac 12 games because, again, they're not buying in and playing any defense. No, and, and the, the rule for me is simple. When I'm looking at a double digit favorite, the favorite has to be able to close out the game on the defensive end. doesn't matter. I'm talking in football. You can talk in the NFL or particularly in college. It's not always about an offense that can keep scoring, scoring, scoring. you got to get stops during crunch time, especially against a high-octane offensive team like USC. I'm not convinced that UCLA can do that, and especially considering the fact that uh, the Bruins, with that size advantage, didn't take advantage of it in the first meeting. And now USC with Boat right back. The size of inches is not quite as great for the Bruins as it was last time around. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com.